It's going good. I'll tell you what, man, they're working. Uh, they're into it. I think they're, uh, I think we're progressing in terms of our scheme. You know, anytime you got new guys in there together, we got some guys that haven't played a lot. Uh, and they got a new coach in there as well. Uh, so uh, we're all getting a feel for each other, and it's been good to see. I think day by day, uh, things are progressing, uh, and, and they're seeing things, and they're diagnosing plays faster. They're reacting on balls with more confidence, uh, and it's just been fun to run around with them these last two weeks. I just think we're getting better. It's been great. It's been great to see. I wouldn't say surprise. I'd just say uh, it's just been good to see guys compete. You know, when you got new faces that aren't as experienced and they know there's some spots are open, uh, you know, when I came in day one, I said, guys, the best thing about me is you got a clean slate, you know, and whoever wants it, you can go get it. I don't care what you've already done. Um, all that matters to me is what you're going to go get done this spring. Uh, Nigel's done an absolutely great job. He's turning, he's trying to uh, develop a mindset and a culture of being a lockdown type guy. Uh, uh, TJ Mutchison and, and, and Cotton Moyer, both new safeties, uh, but both are in there. I mean, you come in here, I'm here Sunday night at 8 o'clock, and they're over there watching film too. You know, so it's a good thing to see that, they're, uh, uh, that they want to do it. You know, first it starts off with them wanting to do it. I got to teach them how to do it. Uh, Coach Rhodes is leading us, uh, but there's good energy. Um, uh, uh, they're into it, and they're encouraging one another, which is another good thing. They're teaching one another, and, and you don't see these guys repeating a lot of mistakes either. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasant surprise. Um, uh, but, uh, but I tell you what, there's already, there was already, I, I feel, a culture established of guys uh, hungry and guys working hard when I walked in the door. So, you know, they're just, they're just young and hungry, and all we're trying to do is just get them lined up right, get them, teach them some things to do, and get them going in the right place. Oh, we all got to prove it. We got to prove this thing every single day. I got to prove myself <laughs> every day. We all got a job. We all got something to prove. Um, uh, that's the thing. That's, that's what you got to love about this game is that, uh, uh, you know, it's not about what you've already done. It's about what you're going to do. And, you know, and I'm trying to get these guys through their head. You know, uh, we, we, have a, we have a saying we use called snap and clear. You know, you make a good play you make, or a bad play happens, snap and clear and move on to the next one. And uh, every day you got to come on this field hungry because if you don't, you know, the, somebody's going to outwork you and somebody's going to beat you. So hey, we're, nobody is proven, okay, but we're all still trying to prove it every day. Um, see them, he has the ability. Okay, he, at first, does a guy have an ability? Uh, he, he has the natural innate ability. Um, and I think he's only been trying to get better and better. Uh, and he's been, it's not, uh, it's not how I feel, it's been on film. You know, it's not one of those things like, well, I know he can do it and he hasn't done it yet. He's been doing it, which has been good to see. Uh, and he wants to do it. Uh, and he's, he's developing. Now it's just the mindset and the mentality of, uh, of uh, uh, being as aggressive as I can and still playing with discipline um, and, uh, and, and knowing how to play a 70-play game. You know what I mean? To know how to get out there and grind, a, especially in the Big 12, grind a Big 12 game out. They're hard to come by. Uh, everybody's out there working. And, you know, if we're all doing what everybody else is doing, what's going to be the difference? So we try to walk out there with an edge. Uh, we try to walk out there and create a culture, create a mentality. Uh, 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 and and I, think, I think we're taking steps towards that. Are we there? Are we where we need to be right now? No, but we're not where we used to be either. You've got to have some resolve about yourself now. You know what I mean? There's, you know, you're not going to always be pretty and perfect, but it's got to be complete. You know, so you got to know how to play a complete game. You know, they're not, you're never going to go out there in 60 or 70 snaps and say every single one of those 60 or 70 snaps went my way. But what you got to learn how to do is snap and clear and, uh, and, and, and stay with the ebb and flows of a game that go up and down and, and be competitive and locked in on the snap that's in front of you. And if you can do that consistently, uh, you'll make enough plays to help us win a football game. Nobody's going to be perfect, but you got to know how to play complete. And you got to know how to overcome some adverse situations that are going to happen. Uh, if a you know, PI gets called on you, obviously we, nobody wants that to happen. It's not my job to cuss you or yell you or push you into the ground. Let's learn from it. Let's correct it. Let's recognize it. Let's not let it happen again. And now let's come back with the same aggressive mentality on the next snap. So sometimes that experience, you know, you need it. But when you get it early, sometimes it can be a negative thing if you're not careful, um, because it's, it's it's this is real deal football now. This is this is this is the show, you know. And, and, and we got guys, we got to have guys that that are ready for that mentally, that can physically do it, uh, that accept that challenge, that aren't shy, that aren't scared. Um, and uh, I think we're getting steps towards getting that done. I tell you what, I, I, I'm I'm seeing good things out of uh, I'd say the other. What I'd say right now, probably the top three corners. Sam Richardson's in there. Uh, he came away with a nice interception today. Matt Thomas is even getting better and better. Um, uh, Ken Lynn, if you saw the scrimmage at all last week, came away with an interception, almost took it to the house. So these guys know uh, that, the, that a spot is open. And it's good to see guys step up to the challenge. And uh, I think the best thing about it is, to, to me, it's, it's, it's almost relieving for sometimes with a kid. You know, you get a new coach. You get to start over. You get to get a fresh start. 
uh, and you get kind of get to refocus your focus, you know, maybe a lack of better terms, and and uh, and get back focused on the things we got to get back focused on. So it's been good to see, man. We got guys compete. Coach Rose called me up, and anytime you're taking it up, one, you're excited. You know, there's an excitement um, just because of it's the Big 12, right? And, uh, and and what Coach Rhodes has already done with this program, it's it's nationally recognized. Um, uh, but you also got to be aware of what, what are all the things that I don't know. You know, you're never going to know anything. There's no perfect job out there. You're trying to find a place uh, uh, where you can get around people that are as excited about football as you are. Uh, uh, I definitely agree that Coach Rose is, is top, top, top of that chart and, and, and a place where you can be successful, which, I, which there's not a doubt in my mind that we can be. We will be. We don't have a choice, uh, you know, and we're going to get it done. So you try to find out all, as much information as you can. The more information you have, the better decision you can make. Um, but ultimately, it's like anything else. You, you measure 10 times, you cut once, you make a decision, you go forward. I think it's, uh, it, 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 there's, it's like anything else. It's a collection of different things. Uh, there's not one thing you can do. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's a collection of uh, one, uh, the kid's got to take ownership in his own play. The kid's, it's got to be important to him first. Uh, I can want it for him. You guys can want it for him. His parents can want it for him. But if it, it, the coach, anybody, but if the kid doesn't want to do it first, it's not going to matter. So once the kid shows that, hey, you know what, this is important to me, um, now we try to develop a mindset of, how, you know, how do I play 70 snaps in the game? How do I play 20? How do I play 10? Uh, you know, you play them one at a time. You know, it, it, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> you know, you play them one at a time, and then you get lined up. And how can I, how can I take all my energy and all my coaching and all my focus and put it in front of me at one snap? And then let that play be over, snap and clear, and then play the next snap. And, and you try to do that over a collection of plays, and now you look up and you got, a, you got a couple series, and then you got a couple series and you got a half, and then you got a half and now you got a game. So does it mean that all those things are gonna go your way? No, but, but you know, small minds shrink when bad things happen. Small minds shrink up when bad things happen. And, 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 and when you're playing in a DB room, you know, you, something bad is gonna happen. When you're playing a game, something bad is gonna happen. What do you do? How do you respond the next play? And you try, it's a culture, it's a mentality, it's a mindset. Uh, so it's a collection of things. And then when they get experienced and they get confident, they know how to overcome those things without anybody saying anything to them. You know, you get to the point now where some of these guys, coach, I got it, I got it, I got it. Not in a negative way, not in a bad way, but coach, I got it, I understand, I'm gonna get it done for you. So it's been good to see. Uh, yeah, you always got to come out and compete, regardless of who the coach is. Um, show who you are. So I'm just a competitor, so that's nothing new. Um, sometimes just reading the hot reads or double moves. I struggle with double moves from time to time, and just being patient at the line of scrimmage. Uh, our receiving core is pretty good. I like us to be like one of the top receiving cores in the Big 12 this year, and I get pretty, I get work a lot of work, especially from Quentin Bundridge.